right now we're uh, charging up this uh, battery right here. We can watch it charge. Right now it's 2.43. It's a very small trickle charge. It takes me about an hour and a half to two hours to fully charge up this battery. But uh, we'll watch the um, uh, volts slowly rise. Uh, right now at 2.43, 2.44. She's starting to tick up to 2.45. And she'll slowly start to climb back up to about 5.80, between 5.7 and 5.9 volts. Right now we're at 2.44. And after about an hour and a half, I'm able to fully charge. She's come up to 2.45 slowly. There she goes. It takes me about an hour and a half to charge up 6 volts. So we're slowly watching the charge up. 2.44, 2.45, and she's slowly climbing. And once again, this is from these um, Super Zero Point Energy batteries. Um, I've got eight of them uh, wired up right now. And I've got them just roughly laying out right here, all exposed to the air. These are just prototypes, and we're just doing proof of concept right now. And I basically have them charging up this small. Uh, 6 volt battery right here and it's been doing a pretty good job so far. I tested it last night and I basically ran the battery down all the way using a small motor making sure it was completely dead and um, and then I recharged it, st starting to recharge it again this morning and um, it's basically just trickle charging the battery. I'm going to have to put a reverse blocking diode on this because it's starting to um, I think overcharge the battery so that can be uh, fixed with a diode, um, you know, a type of diode to take care of that. But um, it takes about an hour and a half to fully charge a battery. And I think I may have overcharged the, this battery last night because it's taking a little bit longer than, than average to recharge. But I should be able to put a um, reverse blocking diode to stop that from happening again, to stop the energy from coming back. So at 2.46 now, she's slowly climbing. And it's going to take probably a little bit longer because I think I may overcharge this, but um, like I said, I can fix that with the uh, circuit to take care of that. 2.46, and she'll go up to almost uh, 6 volts in a couple hours. And remember, this is uh, energy from the quantum vacuum. This is energy from um, the quantum field. And this energy can, uh, is good because you don't need to worry about um, sunlight if you're using solar power, if you're in a remote area. You don't need to worry about... Um, and she is 2.47. If you're in a remote area, you don't need to worry about solar power. If you're underground, you don't need to worry about um, electricity or solar power. It's really great for remote areas. And um, I've also put down, under, as, you, as you'll see under the comments, um, I'm putting down um, the amount of time it takes to charge versus the amount of battery. Um, I've been trying to get this where I can increase the amperage, but um, the only way I'm going to be able to do that is via, through a battery or through capacitors. But hopefully later on they'll be able to get more um, power out of these. But for right now, we're uh, slowly, um, you know, just increasing the average by using the battery right here. So um, so far it's looking pretty good. Once again, this is all energy from the quantum vacuum. Um, it's costing me pretty much no electricity, and these things are run forever. Like now, for example, let's see. Um, this one I've had running for an entire month. It's been running the uh, LEDs for a whole month. This one's a new one I just wired up today, so it's giving me a total of eight in series. Um, this one here I've had running for an entire month uh, with the LEDs. It's still putting out voltage. It's about 1.12 volts, still going strong. Um, this one's a prototype I use liquid tape on. It's about three weeks old, still running strong. And these things still haven't died yet. I've been run running loads with them, etc., and they're still running well. And I look forward in the future to um, once again increasing the amperage. Let's see if we get up to 2.50 here in about five minutes. But the good thing about this is that it's energy from the quantum vacuum. It's called the zero point energy. It's like a high frequency energy and it's attractive to piezoelectric um, substances. And basically, it's a light shift change. It runs uh, it's very similar to photons, it's based on the photon field. And um, it's a, a shift in the photon field, and it's that shift that creates the energy as it comes through. What we're doing is using the correct um, elements here. I've been experimenting with various elements, like this one I have graphite, 
Um, this one I have um, no graphite, and then I have another one up here that has lithium, and different combinations giving out different types of um, different types of voltage. But let's uh, see if we can get to 2.50. Here she goes, coming to 2.50. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, more updates will be coming soon. We're starting, like I said, increasing the amperage, etc., etc. So once again, look at the uh, more videos. I have more information how you can build one yourself, and also um, I have more information on um, basically um, on charge versus uh, capacity time, as far as the number of batteries versus zero, the number of zero point energy batteries you'll need to charge, etc., etc. Anyway, thank you for watching. Good luck in your zero point energy research, and have a great week ahead.